in my time shall we rise to our feet with the caris kind of shout let's welcome to caris his eminence the archbishop nicholas duncan william glory you know one of the things I love the most about all that pastor David said is the transgenerational messenger I like the word messenger it's very powerful I like I like the word messenger than apostle and everything you know when you know that you are a messenger, it helps you to appreciate and understand that you are nothing without the message. And you, your only relevance has to do with hearing and carrying the message. So if you, if you are not hearing and you don't receive any message to carry it, then you have nothing to offer. And I think that is very humbling and thank you for that word, messenger. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, we want to take the opportunity to celebrate and to thank God for Pastor David and she, uh, yeah. And also for my precious daughter, Na, Awu. Amen. You have to add the man to it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, she's a mother in many ways and a queen in many ways. And she, she's a lady of her own class. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so we are thankful for her. And without her, none of us would be here. She works behind the scenes, you know, and does what she does very effective to allow Pastor David to do what he does the best. And so we thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you, Rosa, for being here with me. Thank you for being the blessing that you are to me and to so many. Thank you. I'm grateful for you. And Dennis, thank you also. The first time I preached in this auditorium, many years ago, about 40 years ago it was, uh, Dennis and the husband, my friend of blessed memory that brought me to this auditorium. And I experienced a lot of great things in this auditorium. So thank you for those good memories. Appreciate it. Thank you. Please lift up your hands. Is Pastor Araba here? Okay, all right, okay. Please lift up your hands. Be
Thank you, every one of you, for your love and for your prayers. Thank you for praying with me and praying with my family. I appreciate it, and I'm very grateful for your prayers. As long as you pray with me and I pray with you and we pray for one another, two of us will put 10,000 to flight. And we'll always have the upper hand by all means. And may every prayer you have prayed and you continue to pray for me and my family be credited to your account and to the account of your children and your children's children's children. In the name of Jesus, say yes. With your hands lifted up, Heavenly Father, we are gathered in this precious, blessed New Year 2024. You alone knows what tomorrow holds. You alone knows what the future holds. We are in your hands. We are your redeemed. You purchase us by the blood of your son Jesus. We pray that the blood shed will not be in vain in our lives. And that we will make you proud and not disappoint you by any means. And that nothing you do for us or give us in the name of Jesus will cause us to stumble or miss it or err all the days of our lives. Help us to appreciate that we are nothing without you. Jesus said you can do nothing without me. Paul said I am what I am by the grace of God. Father we recognize that it is not by our connections or who our father or our mother was or is or the school we attended or the color of our skin or how disciplined or principled or good we are or have been but it's by grace it's only grace for you said you have mercy on whom you will thank you for having mercy on us thank you for mercy for we are product of mercy and grace and nothing else but grace and mercy thank you for grace praying that you will help us never to take a, a never to take for granted your grace and your mercies thank you help me that i may inspire and that i may stay up the treasures within these 18 vessels of your people hearing the sound of my voice to challenge somebody to wake somebody up to strengthen somebody to loose the bound to release prisoners to set the captives free to intercept the enemy's agenda concerning your people in 2024 i thank you in the name of jesus Help us never to be the same again. Amen. 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 Go ahead and put your hands together and give them to me. Please be seated in heavenly places. Uh, just turn to somebody and say, The devil is a liar. Is a liar. And so is his mother in law. Amen. Hallelujah. I'd like to share with you a little bit. Thank God for this time of fasting and prayers. Uh, it's something we must always look forward to, and it shouldn't just be January and then we relax the rest of the year. Uh, I have instituted back home that. Uh, all our churches and all our bishops and our pastors to, to fast twice a week and eat five days a week and fast twice a week. Because I strongly believe that it's difficult to be spiritual if you eat seven days a week. Seriously, you backslide. You can't maintain the anointing and the oil. If you're a believer in the days and times we live in with everything going on in this world social media internet and all the foolishness and all the 
activity and the onslaught of the devil. It looks like the enemy has released some new demons to the earth that the church has never encountered before. You remember when David was old, uh, one of Goliath's brothers, Goliath and his brothers, there were five of them that came out of a giant in Gath. And David and his mighty men slew them all. But there was one particular one who ambushed David till David was old. And the Bible said this particular giant who was one of Goliath's brothers who remained engaged David with a new sword. That word new sword means he encountered David with a new virus, a new strategy, a new weapon and a new attack that David was not used to. And one of David's mighty men came and intercepted this giant, took the sword out of his hand and slew him. I pray that when you are old and gray-headed, gray-headed that somebody you help and somebody you impacted in and invested into will find you in the day of your need and be there for you. And that's why when you are good and you are doing well in life and in ministry, you must always help somebody because you never know who you will need tomorrow. Say, I hear you. But, but the key here is a new sword. And I believe that the enemy has released a new sword and some new demons and devils the church is not used to. And one of the things that will give us the upper hand is this continuous and constant fasting and prayer. Not only in the month of January, but throughout the year. A day here, two days here, three days here, every now and then, seven days here. It's a continuous thing. Pray without season. Men ought to always to pray and not to faint. This thing we are involved in, it will never stop till the day we check out. Somebody asked me, Papa, so this warfare and things, when will it end? And I say, it ends the day we see Jesus. You know, until the day we get out of here, this thing is never going to end because the adversary we are dealing with is relentless. And he's not going to quit till he hurts somebody. And he wants to hurt us. Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare by the blood of my covenant that I will not die prematurely in 2024. I will not lose anyone that concerns me. Home and abroad. Say in 2024. I will not be disadvantaged. I will not err. By thoughts. By words, by deeds, in the name of Jesus, say my destiny will not be sabotaged, will not be undermined in 2024. I will not be disadvantaged by land, by air, or by water in my sleep, or when I'm awake, or when I go out, or when I come in. I will not be disadvantaged in the name of Jesus. Say, me and my house will not be scapegoats in 2024. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in 2024, by the blood of my covenant and by the power of the scriptures, I declare, let the waster of my life and of my family be wasted. Say, let the waster be wasted. Let the attacker be attacked. Let the saboteurs, let the saboteurs of my life be sabotaged in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let the waster be wasted. Say, me and my house will not be wasted in 2024 and beyond in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Heavenly Father, that your original intent and plans for my life and the life of my household shall come into full effect into full manifestation I will run the race I will fight the good fight of faith I will keep the faith I will finish my course for which I was born 
I will not be a disappointment. I will end well. In the name of Jesus. I thank you Heavenly Father. Halu wakasin. Ketunda kasa. Eyei luku wasan. Belaya tuki dan. Kafanda kasun. Ilei kitunda kasa wahadis. Put your hands together and give him praise. You may be seated. You know, I sense such anointing and unction, such power to pray in the atmosphere is so strong that I believe that this is a very powerful prayer meeting. Yeah, yeah this is not a church service. This is a gathering for the watchers to make legislations and decrees and to make divine proclamations and to raise divine objections to the speakings of every enemy home and abroad to silence the voices of adversaries to break the horn of the wicked to exalt the horn of the righteous to unblock the floodgates of heaven to call for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit like never before say yes and to take possession of the gates of our enemies let the church all across the nation rise up this year and possess the gates of the enemy let the church possess the financial gates let the church possess the political gates the social gates the media gates let the church possess the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches in the name of jesus the hidden riches in secret places say i will possess the gates of my enemies say i'll possess the financial gates at the marketplace say i will see in the land of the living 2024 and beyond the restoration of my lost fortunes say the recovery of my stolen goods restoration of my wasted years in the name of jesus if you believe it put your hands together and give him praise please be seated in heavenly places let me talk to you for some few minutes and i want us to pray are you hearing me one of the things i enjoy than anything is to pray i enjoy praying than preaching singing teaching and prophesying and i'll tell you why in hebrews 7 25 the bible said that he's able to save or deliver to the uttermost those who came to god by him because he ever lives to make intercession say because talk to me say because he ever lives to make intercession and jesus was a prophet teacher pastor apostle he was everything he had the holy spirit without measure and for over two thousand years there is only one thing he ever lives to do for us and that is to pray so it's very clear that intercession is the highest calling than any other call in the body so whatever fivefold ministry office you stand in if you don't pray i'm very suspicious of your anointing seriously because if jesus for over two thousand years all he's been doing is praying for us that must tell you the importance of the ministry of intercession very very important and um i'd like to talk to you about overturning conspiracies say conspiracies there are so many conspiracies going on from different different pockets uh, spiritual conspiracies political conspiracies uh, financial conspiracies uh, family conspiracies social there are all kinds of conspiracies and there are imaginations somebody say imaginations in second corinthians 10 5 the bible talks about casting down imaginations 
Eh? And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. So there are imaginations. There are people, warlocks and, 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 uh, and mediums and people who practice familiar spirit. They call themselves men and women of God and prophets. But they are operating by familiar spirit and not by the Holy Spirit. And all of them are imagining things against you whether you like it or not. There are imaginations going on. Uh, in the womb of the enemy and in the womb of time. And during this time of 21 days fast or during this time of fasting is the right time to confront some of those imaginations and to raise divine injunction uh, against those imaginations and, 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 and divine objections. Say, I raise a divine objection to any imagination of the adversary where I'm concerned and where my house is concerned and where this church is concerned say 2024 and beyond every imagination which the enemy has imagined concerning me and my house say I raise a divine objection 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 put on say objection objection I object I object to every imagination of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come with me to Nahum 1.9. Nahum 1.9. This is a beautiful atmosphere. Nahum chapter 1 verse 9. Uh -huh. What do you imagine against the Lord? Mm -hmm. He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. In 2024, let not any affliction rise again. that afflicted you in 2023 it will not lift up his head 2024 we raise an objection against any affliction but realize you know what brings the affliction the imagination they imagine evil they imagine an evil device and the affliction is a result of what they have imagined Whatever anyone, anywhere, hearing me, home and abroad, whoever you are, whatever powers you are operating and working with, by the blood of my redemption, the superior blood, and the name above every other name, let your imagination backfire. Let your imagination be overturned. Let your imagination boomerang, boomerang. Put your hands and say boomerang, 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 boomerang. But fire raising divine objection, objection to the imagination of the enemy. Say yes. Sit down for two minutes. You know the days of being nice. This this so-called nice, gentle Christianity. It doesn't work. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't work at all. So stop it. Tell somebody stop it. Stop it. Yeah, stop all these gentle, nice. You know, as people say, oh, Jesus was the Lamb of God the lamb of God or the ram of God don't forget that he was the lamb of God but he was also the lion of the tribe of Judah say yes when it comes to the matters of salvation character and everything he comes forth as the lamb but are you hearing me when it comes to dealing with the enemy and the adversary is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Say yes. I pray that in 2024, the lion in you will roar. That the lion in you will devour. Say yes. Sit down for two minutes. Dilakusu Madi Hassan. Lift up both of your hands. Saka Dalasa. Pray the Holy Ghost for one minute. Madus, Lekitu Kadisa, Emaladu Kawansa, Sala Fadun di Kasim Balata, Ketu Luku Saki Daza, Le Takadila Kusa, Mela Kasidan Kidun da Kan Side, Kula Kasin de Bakasan da Kifason, Letu Kun de Kasim Malun da Kasim, Belaya Tun da Kisumanda la Kasando. Watakada hadaka, mita luka tum kadas, delay to kabada gasi, lopa lagasi kaputa lasa. In Jesus' name, 
Please be seated. Say, I command the unconditional release of prisoners of hope. Of prisoners of war. Of prisoners of war. Say anyone. Anyone. That concerns me. That concerns me. In the name of the law. In the name of the law. Home and abroad. Home and abroad. Held in prison. Held in prison. Bound as a captive. Bound as a captive. Of the enemy. Of the enemy. By an evil disease. By an evil disease. By an imagination. By an imagination. By a spell. By a spell. By a manipulation. By a manipulation. By calculations. By calculations. By programming. By programming. Of any kind. Of any kind. Shape or form. Shape or form. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of redemption. By the blood of redemption. The blood that was shed. The blood that for the remission of sin. For the remission of we sin. Command we command. The release, the release of the captives, of the captives among, us, among us, home and abroad, home say and anyone, anyone tied up, tied up bound, 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 whoever they are, whoever they wherever are, they are, in the name of Jesus, name of we, Jesus command we command their unconditional, unconditional release, release as we put our hands together right now. Command their release. Command their release. Command their release. The release of the captives. The release of them that are bound. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 7. 2 Corinthians 12, 7. Yes, sir. And least I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh the messenger of satan to buffet me lest i should be exalted above measure you know paul here was talking about how he went to the lord three times to remove this thorn and the bible never told us what the thorn was uh, some people said it was children but it's clear that Paul didn't have kids and others said it was the wife but it's also clear that Paul didn't have a wife for whatever reason and there are all kinds of uh, revelation and interpretation given to what the tone was and what the messenger of Satan was but it's very clear that the tone and the messenger of Satan was sent to him to do a particular job to restrict him to limit him uh, and to buffet him to torture to harass uh, to disadvantage him so that he's unable to rise to the occasion to perform the duty that God had given him to do. And uh, he concluded that the reason for the tone and the messenger of Satan was to keep him humble, wrong or right. That was his personal interpretation of it. But every one of us is dealing with a tone. Uh, whether you like it or not, everybody is dealing with a tone and everybody is dealing with a messenger of Satan. But in 2024, let the thorn be uprooted. Let the messenger of Satan be arrested. And the messenger can be anything and the thorn can be a lot of things. You know, those of you who understand the Ga language and Chi, those of you from Ghana, the thorn in Chi, they say in Kase, and in Ga, they said, uh, what? Ngbe, Ngbe. You know, something that pricks you keeps pricking you and triggering you this year let nothing trigger you in the name of jesus this year have the upper hand over every tongue and over every messenger of satan in the name of jesus say yes but, but, but it's clear that Paul with his revelation, please be seated, and the fact that he went to the third heavens and he encountered Jesus and wrote half of the New Testament and all the Pauline revelation, that this guy, as anointed, mighty, and great as he was, was dealing with a tongue. Now, he didn't specifically tell us what a tongue was, but there was a tongue. Tell somebody, I don't know what your tongue is, <laughs> but everybody has a tongue hallelujah and i think that it helps us all to know that you cannot be so anointed and so powerful and gifted that you are free from having a tongue and dealing with the enemy 
He will deal with you. It doesn't matter. He's not the respecter of people anointed because he himself is anointed. He's an anointed foreign cherub. He lost his place, but he didn't lose his anointing. <clears throat> so he's very anointed himself. <clears throat> so don't try and fool around with anointing. He's not the respecter of your anointing and your gifting. Say, I hear you. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He understands and fears people who walk by illumination and revelation and light. Are you hearing me? Of where you've come from and where God picked you from. But it's clear here that Paul, as anointed as he was, was dealing with the tongue. And one of the things that have helped me over the years is the fact that <clears throat> I work with a lot of the fathers. I remember when I was in Bible school in the 70s, uh, we had a message that my grandfather in the faith, Dr. T.L. Osborne, has lost his son. And um, uh, I, I don't want to go into the details, but I watched him, how he handled that situation and how he still preached the word for many, many, many years and decades, and he was focused. It, it did not, I mean, I know that his, the side of his humanity was hurting, but it didn't stop him. And that taught me a lot of uh, wisdom. It gave me a lot of understanding. Just watching him and to see how he handled that affliction and that adversity. And I remember uh, one time when I was taken into heaven, I was shown the city of T.L. Osborne. They showed me not a mansion, a city. And they said, that is the city of T.L. Osborne. And I said, that is my grandfather in the faith. And I remember when I came back to my body, <clears throat> uh, I went to Tulsa, Oklahoma, where he used to live. I didn't see him, so I was going back to Maryland, where I used to live in America. And the Lord said to me, change your ticket, reroute your ticket uh, from Tulsa, go through Chicago to Maryland. So I called my daughter and said, Elsie, can you reroute me? Uh, from uh, Tulsa to Chicago and she said well, but why do you want to go to Chicago you came with Continental through Houston and I said I don't know I just have this strong indication that I must go through Chicago so route me through Chicago and so uh, it happens every now and then so anyway I was my ticket was changed through Chicago so when I got to Chicago my uh, flight to Maryland was delayed for two hours and after sitting for a while, I decided to go have some cappuccino, coffee. Whilst I was on the line, I was standing this way. And then the Lord said to me, lift up your head and look to your right. And when I did, I saw my grandfather, Dr. T.L. Osborne, sitting there having coffee alone. And I walked to him and I said, Grandpa, he said, Nicholas, sit down. So we talked. And I said, Grandpa, I saw your city in heaven. And he said, that's why I'm over 80 and I'm still winning souls. <clears throat> winning souls this year be determined to win souls for Jesus <laughs> listen our only usefulness and value to God and the kingdom is soul winning is winning souls we are saved to save others we are blessed to be a blessing we are healed to heal others everything God does to us is for the benefit of others none of us deserve anything we don't deserve anything. Favor, goodness, blessings, money, influence, trending, good or bad trending, all of that, we don't deserve it. It is only by grace. And God does all of this for you and I for the benefit of others, period. The day we forget that, we are in trouble with God. We must never forget that if I'm blessed, God said to Abraham, I'll bless you so you can be a blessing. That is the essence of blessing. I will lift you up to lift up others. I will promote you to promote others. That is it. When you forget that, you are in trouble. Nobody deserves anything. Nobody deserves anything. See, I hear you. Come with me to 1 Samuel 17, 34. 1 Samuel 17, 34. 1 Samuel 17, 34. And uh -huh. David said unto Saul, mm -hmm. Thy servant kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb out of the flock. So, so what is this? Somebody say conspiracies. conspiracies. Now, now this is animal conspiracies. So. This one is animal conspiracies. Yeah, in the animal kingdom. A lion and a bear. The lion and the bear, they don't like each other. 
But this particular time, both of them have a common interest. And the common interest they had was an, a lamb that was born. And how they could sense, smell, and how they had the information. Whoever gave them the information is a mystery we have to demystify. But the lion was in his own area. The bear was somewhere else. And both of them had an information or an intelligence that there was a lamb that has just been given birth to by a sheep. And both of them had a common interest. So they went out for the lamb, not for the sheep, not for the shepherd, but for the lamb. Because that lamb was David's testimony. And the Bible says, we overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. This year, you will have a testimony. Because you can't overcome without a testimony. And to be an overcomer, you must have a testimony. And David had kept the sheep and labored for years without any proof. The very moment where the sheep gave birth to a lamb for him to have something to show. To have something to show. That you gave me hundred sheep. Now I have a lamb added to the one you gave me. The enemy said, David, you will labor in vain. You have nothing to show for. Somebody say, no more foolish errands. No more foolish errands. Say, no more vain labor. No more say in the name of Jesus, I will not build for another to dwell therein in this year. Say, I will not labor in vain anymore. No more foolish errands. In the name of Jesus, say yes. Sit down for two minutes. But can you imagine how the lion and the bear they hate each other. They don't like each other. And how both of them came together at a Kairos moment where David's testimony, breakthrough, and miracle had come. They also came at the same time and both of them had co common interest, the same interest in the Lamb. This year, in the name of Jesus, let your testimony be preserved. Let our breakthrough be preserved. Yes. Say in the name of Jesus. 2024. I will not be sabotaged. I will not be disadvantaged. At my Kairos moment. Say at the prime of my life. I will not be sabotaged. I will not be disadvantaged. Put your hands down. Make that declaration. I declare. That in 2024 and beyond. At my Kairos moment, in the prime of my life, and that of my house and ministry, I will not be disadvantaged, I will not be sabotaged, I will not be undermined. In the name of Jesus, say yes. Sit down for two minutes. Say, I intercept the lion and the bear. Say, I will not be devoured. Say, my testimony will not be devoured. Say, the weaklings within our household will not be devoured. Say, the innocent among us will not be devoured by a lion and a bear. Say, we divide the tongues of the lion and the bear. Just imagine. Just think about it. Who told the lion and the bear? Who? That there was a lamb. Any information the enemy has about our Kairos moment, any advanced knowledge anyone has about our glory and our elevation and breakthrough to sabotage us, let them be stripped. Let them be denied. In the name of put your hands say strip and deny we strip and we deny them of any information they have about our kairos moment our moment of breakthrough and elevation we intercept and we block them in the name of jesus say yes yes sit down for two minutes 
But the thing that amazed me was two beasts, strong beasts, very powerful, that hate each other. And how they became friends. Having a common goal. Anyone that has an interest in us this year. Any group of individuals that have a common interest to hurt you this year. To hurt us in this church and this ministry this year. Whoever they are, let their tongues be divided. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let them be disadvantaged in the name of Jesus. Hey, Say yes. Yeah. Sit down for two minutes. Look at Luke. Luke 23, 12. I want to show you something. Luke 23, 12. That day, Herod and Pilate uh -huh. became friends. Uh -huh. Before this, they had been enemies. You see? Herod and Pilate, they were arch enemies. But at this particular time, they had a common interest. They all wanted to kill Jesus. They wanted to destroy Jesus. So arch enemies became friends. Because they had a common interest. Any group of individuals, home and abroad, whoever and wherever they are, that have a common interest to hurt us this year, let them be disadvantaged. Amen. Let them be put to shame and turn back. Let their tongues be divided. Amen. Put your hands together. Pray that prayer right now. Pray that prayer right now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. sit down for two minutes. Come with me to Psalm 55, verse 9. Psalm 55, verse 9. Uh -huh. Destroy, O Lord, uh -huh. and divide their tongues. Mm -hmm. For I have seen violence and strife in this city. You see, at this time, David was in deep trouble, in deep waters. The Lord would deliver us from many waters this year. He would deliver us from great waters. And whenever you see water is trouble, trouble, the Lord shall deliver you from many troubles this year. And you know, at this time, David had done some few things even though he was a prophet a king and a priest three offices he occupied three offices he was a priest a king and a prophet and he was also a man after god's own heart david was no joke this guy was so heavy that ahitophel said to absalom in order to capture your father david you have to give me twelve thousand men for david alone then he said even with the 12,000 men, few things must happen before I can capture your father. He said, number one, he must be weary and tired. First step. Number two, I must make him afraid. Number three, his mighty men around him must run and leave him alone. Then I can strike him with 12,000 men. So even with 12,000 men, I cannot touch the guy unless he's weary and tired. And two, unless he's afraid, say in 2024, I will not be afraid. For the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid? Say the Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I fear? Say when my enemies and even my foe come up on to eat me up in 2024, they will stumble and fall. Say let them stumble and fall. In the name of Jesus, in the air, on land and on water, that seek my life and my flesh. In the name of Jesus, sit down for two minutes. He said, Ahitophel said, I need David to be battle weary. Say battle weary spirits. One of the things we have to pray in 2024 and that the battles will not be prolonged. That God will do a quick work. First Samuel 3, 1. 
First Samuel 3, 1 Samuel 3.1 that the battles will not be prolonged in 2024. Because you see, when the battle is prolonged, what happens is there's too much casualty and financial wastage and losses. You see what's going on in Ukraine and even what is happening between Israel and Hamas. Those long and prolonged battles, they cause too much casualties and wastage and you become battle weary i pray this year by the word of the lord that prolonged battles will come to an end in the name of jesus say yes that prolonged battles will be cut short in righteousness and that god will do a quick work say yes say a quick work a quick work Give me, give me Luke 18, 7 and 8. Luke 18, 7 and 8. Please be seated. Luke chapter 18, verse 7 and 8. Uh -huh. And shall not God avenge his own elect, uh -huh. which cried day and night unto him, uh -huh. though he bear long with them? Uh -huh. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. You see that word? Again? He will avenge. Use that word. Uh, avenge. We need to pray early. Those that seek me early shall find me. We need to pray early. Satisfy us early with your goodness. That we may serve you the rest of our life with gladness of heart. Psalm 90. Psalm 90 from verse 14, 15 down. He, we need God to satisfy us early this day, this year. Read. Oh, satisfy us early. With satisfy us mercy. later. No. But what? Early. Early. This year. Your pregnancy will not delay. You will not deliver before or after. Set time breakthroughs. Time sensitive breakthroughs. Your deliverance will be early. Your healing will be early. Your, your, your deliverance will come early. Preservation early. Recovery early. Say speedily, 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 speedily. In the name of Jesus, say speedily, speedily, speedily. Amen. He said, He will avenge us, Lord, speedily. Time sensitive deliverance. The Bible said that Naomi, eh, Naomi came at the time of the bounty harvest. Say, my blessing will be on time. Say, 2024, 2024. my deliverance will be on time. Say, I will be healed on time, delivered on time, breakthrough on time. In the name of Jesus, put your hands on time breakthroughs, on time blessings, on time, on time, not untimely. I come against every untimely situation. In the name of Jesus, I will break through on time. Have my blessing on time. Say yes. Sit down for two minutes. Two governors who were enemies. Read it again. Luke 23, 12. Read it again. You got to look at this thing. 23, 12. Everything is in the Bible. Tell somebody, everything is in the Bible. Go ahead. That day, Herod and Pilate uh -huh. became friends. Became friends. Before this, they had been enemies. There are people who don't like each other. But suddenly, they become friends. Because they have a common interest to hurt us. Let their tongue be divided. Let them be disadvantaged. Let their defenses depart from them. Amen. Let their strongholds be dismantled. Amen. In the name of Jesus, say yes. yes. Say yes. yes. Say yes. yes. Anyone that will devise our heads, give me Psalm 41, verse 5. Psalm 41 verse 5. Psalm 41 hey. verse 5. Modaku madasa. Adaladaku wasadin. Delay to kuwa hasan. Kifandu kuwasa. Eheluku santuma. 
Psalm 41 verse 5. Psalm 41 verse 5. Somebody talk to me. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Mine enemies speak evil of me. Uh -huh. When shall he die and his name perish? Do you know there are people who don't want you alive? Yeah. There are some people they wish we were not here. But let their expectations and wishes be disappointed. Amen. Lift up your hand and say in the name of Jesus. Anyone speaking evil. Anyone speaking evil. And evil of me. Evil of me. Anyone speaking evil. Anyone speaking evil. And ill. Of me and my house in 2024, in 2024 and, beyond, and beyond in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus let them be disappointed, disappointed be disadvantaged, disadvantaged and, put to shame, and put to shame that speak ill and evil of me and my house put your hands together and declare it I declare it open your mouth I declare it let them be put to shame and be disadvantaged that speak evil and ill of me and of my house in 2024 let it backfire let it backfire in the name of jesus say yes say yes say yes sit down for two minutes psalm 62 verse 4 psalm 62 verse 4 uh-huh they only consult to cast him down from his excellency they delight in lies they bless with their mouth but they curse inwardly there are three kinds of curses write it down spoken curses written curses inward curses say in the name of jesus i am not the effect of spoken curses of written curses and of inward curses i annul it by the blood of the covenant say any spoken curse and any written curse and any inward curse that anyone anywhere has projected against me and my house from the regions of the underworld from the regions of the sea and of the waters beneath the earth and the elements of the heavens the stars the moon the sun and the elements of the earth in the name of jesus let they are written spoken and inward curses and judgments be annulled annulled by the blood of the covenant annulled put your hands and say annulled 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 come on somebody open your heart open your mouth those of you at home get up from your sofa get up from your bed stand on your feet walk around say something in the loose a command they katam the kawas they lack to cook the vast imam kita look at the lay kuta wang kifa lang sawang kading the lay to cook the list melaya katunda kasan the fang kuwasa sit down for a minute sit down for a minute in the name of jesus then there are judgments there are judgments spoken judgment written judgment inward judgments lift up your right hand say any charge, any charge. and case, case held against me in the courts of heaven and in any demonic court of jurisdiction by the blood of the covenant let the charge and the case be dismissed with immediate effect against me and my house in the name of jesus let it be dismissed against me and my loved ones home and abroad as i put my hands together by the blood of the covenant dismiss it dismiss it dismiss i dismiss the case i dismiss the child I dismiss the verdict. I dismiss ill will. I dismiss demonic judgment, verdicts, and writings. In the name of Jesus, say yes. Yes. 
Sit down for two minutes. Second Samuel fifteen twelve. Second Samuel fifteen twelve. And Absalom yes, sent for Ahithophel, uh -huh. the Gibeonite, David's counselor mm -hmm. from his city, even from Gilo, uh -huh. while he offered sacrifices. And the conspiracy was strong, for the people increased continually with Absalom. Somebody say conspiracies. Tell somebody, there are conspiracies in the womb of 2024. But in the name of Jesus, let them be intercepted and aborted in the name of Jesus. So here was David who had missed it by committing premeditated murder and adultery. And he was in very deep trouble and waters. And the enemy raised from his own house an enemy. His own son, by the name of Absalom, rose up against his father and wanted the father's throne before time. And he used his father's weakness, his father's error, against his own father. And it was a difficult situation because the whole kingdom was at stake. And David didn't want to kill he didn't want Absalom to die, so he did everything, maneuvering to preserve Absalom. And at the same time, Absalom had become a weapon and a tool in the hand of the enemy to afflict David. Say in the name of Jesus. Let not any of my seed be a weapon in the hands of the enemy against me. Adula mi katun ke salfadula wans belay tu kawasatan kifulamasa. Say, let not any of my loved ones take advantage of me in the day of my affliction. So Absalom felt that this was the opportunity to take advantage of his father's pain and, 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 and exploit the father and take the throne prematurely. Don't do it. For those of you around Pastor David and she, please, don't ever try to take advantage of him. Don't ever try to position yourself whenever you see an opening. Don't do it. Wait. Wait on the Lord. And at his own time, he will make everything beautiful. Amen. And what is yours, he will give to you. Amen. But don't take advantage of the hurt and of the pain of the Lord's anointed. You see, even when God forsook, you know, the first king of Israel, Saul, David had opportunity to slay him because he had attempted 24 assassination attempts on David. And David had it in his power to take his life, but David said, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch him. He's the Lord anointed, let the Lord deal with him Hear me, there are certain situations you have to let the Lord handle it. You know, because the Bible said that this is, this is too high for me. There are things that are too high for us to understand and make sense of. And so it's always smart and wise when you don't understand something. Even when you do, you leave it to God. And David won't touch him. David won't touch him. Amen. Amen. And Absalom sent for Ahithophel. Again, Absalom and Ahithophel had nothing to do with each other. They had no friendship. Ahithophel was David's counselor for 40 years. And the Bible said, when you heard from Ahithophel, it was as if a man has inquired of the oracles of God. And even God called the counsel of Ahithophel the good counsel of Ahithophel. The man was heavy. That was the great grandfather of Solomon. Yeah. Ahithophel gave birth to a son who was one of general, who was one of David's general. And he gave birth to a daughter by the name of Belsheba. And Solomon was the son of Belsheba. So Ahithophel was Solomon's great grandfather. So Ahithophel was heavy. He was no joke. And Ahithophel was angry with David because David had killed Uriah the Hittite who Ahithophel got to be David's personal security guard. 
And in order for Uriah to be loyal to David, Ahitophel made sure he married his granddaughter to make him loyal through the marriage. So when David slew Uriah and took the granddaughter, Ahitophel could not forgive David. He was so embittered that he wanted David to be destroyed. And even though he was from the land of Gilead, where the balm of Gilead came from, he couldn't deal with his own pain. He became embittered and he wanted David destroyed. And when Absalom saw that his father's counselor was embittered and now was against his father, he decided to side with Ahitophel against David. And when David heard that Absalom, his son, had come together with his counselor Ahitophel to devise his head, he went to God and said, Lord, I have transgressed. I have sinned. And I am not qualified for any acts or petition. But just this one bullet I need. Just one bullet. I have AK-47. Eh? Is it 47? But there is no bullet in it. I need only one bullet to fire. And he said, Lord, I need mercy. I know I'm not qualified, but mercy triumphs over judgment. Oh, Lord, mercy. And he said, Lord, let the counsel of Ahitophel, when he speak to my son Absalom, and he give him that evil counsel to divide my head and demise. Let his good counsel be disregarded this time around. Let not my son listen. And if you study the scriptures carefully, a guy came to David and said to David, I've come to join you. Please sit down. I've come to join you. And I'll be loyal with to you and fight with you to the end and David said to this guy he said you know you will not be useful being with me even though I need you what I want you to do disguise yourself and go and join my son Absalom and stay close by him and when Ahitophel gives him the counsel about what he should do about his father I want you to raise a counter counsel counter it so this guy went to Absalom and said I'm with you I'm not happy about your father at all my loyalty is with you I'm on your side sometimes we have to be careful of people who are on our side huh? yeah yeah especially in the time of trouble we have to have descending of spirits so Absalom brought him in and then Ahitophel told him what he should do that night then this guy Counted Ahitophel's counsel and said, Absalom, I hear what Ahitophel is saying. He has never lost any battle and counsel, but under the present circumstances, you know your father. And we've all been with that man. David is unpredictable, he's too dangerous. To go out against him tonight is a dangerous move. Let's do it, but let's find another strategy. So when he Counted Ahitophel's counsel, Ahitophel knew that he was finished, that David would kill him. So the Bible said he went home, set his house in order, and he hanged himself and died. Because he knew that for Absalom to reject that counsel, he was gone, that David would come for him. And Absalom also hanged himself with his hair by a tree. A tree, a branch of a tree, you know, trapped his hair and he hung and died prematurely. Don't fight your father. Tell someone, don't fight your father. And this was, this was, this was heavy for David. His own son, his own blood became a tool in the hands of the enemy. Became a weapon for the enemy to afflict him and the entire family. Dolami Dakus. 
Selei katalan diandu kawahasan Deya kutun divalundu kawahasin Oh salama kadi Tulaya kata We make atonement and intercession For the release of the captives Selama kiwahan Dalanda kasan Devanda kawasa Oh sikiliki balusada Moyaka dalakasa Jesus Somebody say Jesus Come with me please Come with me to Genesis 37 From verse 18 To 27 There are some few things we have to pray And deal with in this chapter This is very heavy Genesis, 20. Genesis 37 Yeah, from verse 18 From verse 18 uh -huh. And when they saw him afar off uh -huh. Even before he came near unto them Yes, sir They conspired against him Tell somebody Do you know people are eyeing you afar off? Uh -huh. So listen, there are some people eh, They have an evil eye They've seen your star They've seen your glory from afar And do you know those in darkness Can see those in the light? And those in the light can't see those in the dark. So somebody has seen you. Someone is eyeing you. But we block them in the name of Jesus. Say, I block every evil eye that have seen my glory and my star. Jesus said, Abraham saw my word, my day. Are you hearing me? And rejoice. Anyone that has seen our future. And the future of our children and therefore has targeted us for any kind of distraction in the name of jesus let them be intercepted let them be terminated 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 put your answer and say terminated terminated in the name of jesus terminated say yes sit down two minutes go ahead go ahead they conspired against him to slay him. Again, say conspiracies. Conspiracy. There are conspiracies in the womb of time. But any conspiracy they have devised, where we are concerned in 2024, concerning our going out and our coming in, our laying up and our rising up, let it be intercepted. Let it be averted. We declare we will lay down in safety and we will rise up in safety. We will go out in safety. We shall return in safety. Our security will not be breached. In the name of Jesus, say yes. Say my security in 2024 will not be breached. In the name of Jesus, put your hands together and say yes. Go ahead. Verse 19. Uh -huh. And they said one to another, uh -huh. Behold, this dreamer cometh. They said one to another, whatever they have said, mm. and whatever they are saying, for my enemies speak evil of me. Whatever they have said, whatever they are saying, in the name of Jesus, we revoke the potency of their words. We block the consequence of what they are saying. We bind whatever they are saying. It shall have no effect. Put your hands and say, It shall have no effect. 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 In the name of Jesus, it shall have no effect. Say yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 20. Uh huh. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him uh -huh. and cast him into some pit. And we will say, yes. Some evil beast uh -huh. hath devoured him, uh -huh. and we shall see what will become of his dream. What shall become of his dream? His dream. Tell somebody, it's not about you, it's about the dream. The dream, the dream. Say, so it's not about your children or your loved ones. It's about the dream. It's a dream. It's the dream they are interested in. Say, my dream, my God given dream will not be aborted. It will not be compromised. In the name of Jesus, say, my God's given dream will not be aborted nor be compromised in 2024 and beyond. Say, I command the preservation 
of my God-given dream. In the name of Jesus, say yes. yes. Sit down, two minutes. You know what distinguishes you from others? It's not the color of your skin. It's not how smart you are. It's not the school you attended. It's your dream. They were from the same loins. Same father. The difference between them and Joseph was the dream. Joseph had a dream. He was a dreamer. And none of them could dream. And that is the problem we all have. When you are a dreamer, when you have a dream, when you have something others don't have, you become a target of the jealousy and the envy and the hatred of others. But in 2024, I pray for the preservation of your dreams. I pray that you will not die. I pray that your dream will not be compromised. Say yes. Say I will not die in 2024. But I will live to fulfill my God's given dream. Sit down for two minutes. Go ahead. Go ahead. And Reuben had it. Uh -huh. And he delivered him out of their hands. Say, I release my Rubens. Whenever. Say, whenever. My haters gather. To devise my head. Wherever. In 2024. Let the horn of Reuben. And the voice of Reuben be heard on my behalf in the name of Jesus say I release my rubies to intercede for me go ahead and said let us not kill him uh -huh. and say, Ruben, somebody say I raise counter petitions say I raise counter declarations say I issue counter attacks on every attack of the enemy where i'm concerned in 2024 i decree counter attacks go ahead and reuben said unto them shed no blood shed no blood but cast him into the say my blood will not be shared say i will not lose the life of any loved one in 2024 Say, those who seek my blood in 2024 shall be drunk with their own blood. And those who seek my flesh in 2024 will be fed with their own flesh. Isaiah 49, 26. Read it. That is where it is. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49, 26. Mm -hmm. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. Uh -huh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood. So let them be drunk with their own blood. That seek and desire my blood. And fed with their own flesh. That seek and desire my flesh. Don't seek my blood. You'll be drunk with your own blood. Don't desire my flesh. You'll be fed with your own flesh. Don't dig a pit for me. You shall fall into it yourself. Ah, don't throw a net. It shall catch you yourself. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Give me Job 4 8. Job 4 8, and then we'll go back. We'll go back to Genesis 37. Job chapter 4, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Even as I have seen, mm -hmm. they that plow iniquity mm -hmm. and sow wickedness reap the same. You will reap the same, oh. Tell someone, you will reap the same. So when you when when when, when you divide my head. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You reap it. It will come on you. Don't make no mistakes. Says I'm going to make no mistakes. I'm a product of grace and mercy. Make no mistake. It will backfire. Go back to Genesis. Genesis 37. Genesis 37, 22 uh -huh. now. And Reuben said unto them, Shed no blood, uh -huh. but cast him into this pit. Listen, my blood will not be shed in 2024. Ah, Malaku Mutaya. 
Waya san lukasi wala hasin Deluda kiman kifandu kawasan Let their oracles be silenced And their voices be discredited In the name of Jesus Go ahead Uh huh but cast him into this pit uh -huh. that in the wilderness and lay no hand upon him uh -huh. that he might rid him out of their hands to uh -huh. deliver him to his father again say I declare I, I am the redeemer of the Lord I'm redeemed by the blood of the lamb from the hand of the enemy say in 2024 I secure my deliverance by the blood of the covenant from the hands of any enemy within and without domestic or external go ahead and it came to pass mm -hmm. when joseph was come unto his brethren that they stripped joseph out of his coat his coat of many colors oh la la go ahead 20. say i will not be stripped of my covering and of my mantle say another will not take my place before the lord for it is written to set aside the right of a man and to subvert a man in his cause lamentation 3 36 the lord approved it not they say to set aside the right of a man and to subvert him in his cause the lord approved it not say in 2024 i will not be disadvantaged i will not be sabotaged in the name of jesus by any means go ahead quickly let's finish and they took him and cast him into a pit uh -huh. and the pit was empty uh -huh. there was no water in it mm -hmm. verse 25 and they sat down to eat bread uh -huh. and they lifted up their eyes and looked and mm -hmm. behold a company of ishmaelites came from gilead mm -hmm. with their camels bearing spicery and balm and mare going on to carry down to egypt and judah said unto his brethren what profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood come and let us sell him to the ishmaelites and let not our hand be upon him for he is our brother and our flesh and his brethren were content listen say let judah go first Say, let Judah rise. Say, in 2024, I release the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, beauty for ashes, the oil of joy, the oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness. Say, in the name of Jesus, I release my divine helpers to come on time, on time, Say, let my breakthrough be on time. Let my deliverers be on time. Let my divine helpers come on time. On time. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sit down. Ah. Motolo modikalasa. Amen. Amen. All right. I'm trying to finish this thing. There are some scriptures hidden in this. See if you can find them for me and give me Jeremiah 11 verse 9. Jeremiah 11 verse 9. Jeremiah chapter 11 verse 9. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah. And among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Say a conspiracy. a conspiracy. Give me Hosea chapter 9, verse 14. I want to finish. Hosea. I'll, con I'll continue some other time. I need an all night prayer meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. All night prayer meeting. <clears throat> So I can work you all night long. These Sunday services, I don't like it anymore. Eh? Okay. Give me, give me Hosea 9, 14. Hosea 9, 14. Uh -huh. Give them, O Lord, what will thou give? 
give them a miscarrying womb and dry breasts. Any satanic womb that has been appointed to hurt us, any satanic womb that has been appointed to carry out any wickedness against us, let that womb be aborted. Let that womb be terminated. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Say in the name of Jesus. I intercept satanic wombs. In the name of Jesus. Say anyone appointed to carry out the devil's plan concerning my life and the life of my family in 2024 and beyond in the name of Jesus let such a one and let that womb be terminated terminated as I put my hands together I terminate any womb any individual anywhere appointed to carry out the plans of the enemy concerning my life and my family I terminate that womb terminate that individual in the name of Jesus say yes now I can't finish I need an all night I need an all night I can't finish you see this is not normal preaching this one is something different yeah yeah I need a whole night long or I need Saturday morning from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yes, sir. Now, now, give me Psalm 79 verse 11. Psalm 79 verse 11. Uh -huh. Let the sign of the prisoner come before thee. Yes, sir. According to the greatness of thy power, uh -huh. preserve those that are appointed to die. Anyone that has been appointed to die, in 2024 that concerns us home and abroad let that appointment with death be annulled now hear me death is an appointment the bible said it is appointed unto man wants to die and after that comes death so whoever the enemy has appointed to die that is against god's original intent in the name of jesus let that appointment with death be annulled. Amen. Give me Isaiah 28 18. Isaiah 28 18. Isaiah 28 18. Uh -huh. And your covenant with death shall be disannulled. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. When Hear me. Lift up your hands. Say, any appointment with death. Say anything that has been projected and appointed where I'm concerned by the enemy in the womb of 2024 in the name of the Lord Jesus by the blood of my covenant I intercept that appointment I annul that appointment let the appointment with death and sudden destruction of any kind, shape, or form, program and appointed for me, my family, and my house. In the name of Jesus, in 2024, by the blood of the covenant, let it be disannulled. As I put my hands together, let it be disannulled. <laughs> This and all. Put your hands back. This and all. This and all. Now, give me Psalm 124, verse 7. Psalm, Psalm 124, verse 7. Psalm 124, verse 7. Uh -huh. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. I declare by the scriptures and by the blood of the covenant in 2024, whatever snare they have set for us, let it be broken. Let our soul escape. Put us God declare the snare is broken. Let the snare be broken. Let our soul escape, 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 escape. Put 
put your hands together. Break the snare. Escape in the name of Jesus. Walk out. I walk out quickly. I walk out quickly. Stand on your feet. I'm concluding with this scripture. I'm going to join my hands with Pastor and I will. A threefold cord is not easily broken. As we join our hands together, any snare they've set for us, 2024, let it be broken. Let our soul escape. Bahar, 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 Bahar,